As an acrylic emulsion, binder medium also is a great glue for collage. And if you collage those elements and then you seal and you isolate those collage elements with some binder afterwards, when that's dry, you can totally paint over the image and then using some water or the unlocking formula, you can remove layers of paint and reveal what's underneath. It looks very, very cool. So let me show you. On this panel right here, I'm going to want to collage some vintage sheet music. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of binder into my cup and I'm just going to apply a layer to my surface. And once I have it down, I'm going to just adhere my image. I'm going to work out any bubbles that I have. I can see a couple spots where I need to just get those edges down. Sometimes edges are nice when they kind of can curl up and they can add some dimension to your, to your piece, but sometimes they're not. So in this case, I want to have this nice and smooth to show you. So I've got it all down. Now what I want to do is just put a coat of binder on top. This step is important because what this does is that it seals this image. It provides this clear protective barrier. And then when I overpaint it with some interactive, I'll actually be able to remove some layers and show what's underneath. Now I'll let this dry, but over here, I've already done all those steps. I've totally covered my surface with some vintage sheet music and you can see parts of it coming through because I've used a selection of both transparent and semi-transparent and a little bit of opaque colors. So now if I really wanted to bring out some of that sheet music again, all I need to do is just use my water sprayer or if water doesn't work, use the unlocking formula. It's going to rehydrate that paint and now using a rag, you can see how I'm able to bring out and show some more of the sheet music which was totally covered up underneath just moments ago. And all I do is just kind of remove some paint, turn my rag around, get a clean spot. You don't want to keep trying to remove paint with a dirty rag or your paint's not really going to come off. And doing this technique, now I'm able to show exactly what I have underneath. So you can see that there are lots of different ways that you can use a medium that's as versatile as the binder medium. You can use it to seal surfaces. You can use the binder as a way to make a colored ground. You can use it to isolate painting prior to using more aggressive painting techniques like graffito or scratching back or just to isolate layers. You can use the binder you know, to collage your elements down. Lots of different things you can do for your fine art paintings, for your mixed media pieces, as well as your collage creations.